What is wrong with the idea of Israel has done enough? Stop now. You've killed many more thousands than they killed you. Um, that's been enough. Now let's figure out how to make the situation better. Israel must continue until Hamas is removed from power. Before that, incomplete operation, premature ceasefire, will make Hamas 10 times stronger in the next war. And this is what Hamas wanted. They knew the use of civilians as human shields would force the international community to beg for a ceasefire. This is what Hamas is counting on, a short-term war. They cannot stand a long-term war. So they want the war to stop now, and Israel negotiate. That will give them legitimacy. And uh, tomorrow, they will build their military again and come with a much deadlier wave. Uh, so hence, the war must continue until the job is accomplished. I know this is very hard on the people of Gaza, but we have to be very strong for their own sake. Once we remove Hamas from power, the people of Gaza will be finally free from Hamas. Two questions. One, uh, what does Gaza look like without Hamas? Why wouldn't it just be what we saw under Arafat and the PLO? And it doesn't matter the name of the organization. You have the same problem for the Israelis. Well, Gaza today is completely different because Hamas leaders had the freedom to travel the world, roaming the entire region, traveling to Moscow, Doha, Istanbul, Beirut, all over the place, while the Gazans were imprisoned in a blockage. So I think this is the mistake that we did. Uh, and I, when I say the, we did, United States, Israel, and other allies of the United States in the region, that we give Hamas freedom and we imprison the people. Instead, we need to give the people freedom back and target Hamas wherever they are. Mm. Um, so, you understand the mindset of Hamas, what their real goals are. You lived it. You um, watched your father develop uh, some of their ideas. Mm -hmm. The idea that there can be peace, if all of the Israeli settlements were out, okay, of the West Bank, Gaza doesn't really have it, but it's all gone, okay? And would that be enough for Hamas? Absolutely not. Hamas, uh, they're not only terrorists, they're savages. They have the mentality of 6th and 7th century Arabia. And they're motivated uh, by uh, religious dogma to annihilate the state of Israel as a condition to build an Islamic state. And the problem, they don't stop there. Because the Islamic state they are building, not only in what's known now as Israel, they want a global one. They don't believe in political borders. If Hamas was a political party, then we can apply pressure on them and bring them to the negotiating table to compromise. But Hamas is a religious uh, movement that is waging a holy war against the Jewish people. This is the difference. How can you negotiate with people like this? You'll never be able to uh, satisfy their ambition. Hence, Democracies cannot negotiate with terrorists. The more you negotiate with them, the more you give them legitimacy, the more you validate their violence. This is where it gets tricky. And this is what Hamas exactly want, recognition. They want the world to come big them for a ceasefire. We cannot afford what they want. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.